Okay, so there's not much light at the moment, mm. so you can just about see Tom's face in the firelight. Um, but in a moment I'll stop talking and you will be able to hear the sounds that we have been trying to fall asleep to. Oh, that's nice, you can see the lake because it's still a little bit light. You can hear the sounds that we are trying to sleep through every single night. So I will shut up for a moment, and then I will try and identify what those sounds are, once you've heard them for a little bit. Hopefully you can hear the honking of geese. You would think that this would stop at sunset, which is about 20 minutes, half an hour away. Um, but they don't. They go on until about 4 o'clock in the morning, I guess. Mm -hmm. Um, no, I think I woke up about five and they were still going. So they were still going then. They yeah. were quiet when we got up at eight this morning, but obviously sometime between five and eight o'clock in the morning they'll shut the fuck up. Now, you may be able to hear a kind of... It sounds like big crickets or like a bird, like... Wah, 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 wah. And behind that you might be able to hear like a a hollow, small, throbbing noise. But those aren't birds. Those are something called cicadas. And they are about... Uh, that's my hand, so they're about... that big. And about... that fat. They're very slow moving, but they are bloody noisy and they first come out about half past six at night and then they kind of have a couple of breaks throughout the night and then they don't stop. That's been the soundtrack to our camping experience in America full stop really hasn't it? Cicadas. Yeah, cicadas, yeah, that's what America sounds like, mm -hmm. even in cities. They live yeah. in trees, they don't fly around, they don't come down out of the trees. Uh, we only saw one when we were in... Um, where were we? Mammoth oh, Mammoth Cave. Caves. Uh, there was just one on a wall. Um, but apart mm. from that, they're harmless, they stay up in the trees and they don't freak you out. Because um, if you were to see them, they would freak you out because they're ugly looking things. Mm -hmm. But they're slow moving and they're not like cockroaches or anything. Um, now, if you listen again... If you amplify that by about 10, that's what they sound like by midnight. Uh, and again, we have to try and sleep through that. Now, there is... In fact, there are two things uh, that help us sleep, and they are called... Where's my thumb? There's my thumb. Ear plugs. If it wasn't for the ear plugs, Tom and I would have gone insane. Uh, I love ear plugs. About two weeks ago, really, when we first got to our first campsite in Lake Michigan, where we first really experienced the cicadas, um, because they don't shut up, and they are really loud. When we were in Louisville, we were told... Sorry, Louisville. We were told that there are 17-year cicadas and they are deafeningly loud, um, but uh, we seem to be out of the cycle and we haven't got any 17-year uh, cicadas at the moment. If we're still awake and they're still making noise, then maybe we'll add to this video, but for now, I will leave you with the sounds of the American nature. I think it's for a bat. We were leaving them with the sounds of American I'm nature? Sorry. sorry viewers, listeners. I think I just heard a chupacabra. 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 Chup